welcome all of you we will have a discussion about dam juno rearrangement in this video so dam juno rearrangement is nothing but conversion of primary amine into alcohols using nitrous acid so result into the mixture of rearranged or non rearranged products but both of them are alcohols so you are getting two different products that's a mixture of one rearranged product another is a non rearranged product as a part of the reaction so he is our uh, great demjono is an russian organic chemist was uh, suggested and produced the conversion of primary amine into alcohol using nitrous acid on his name as a demjono rearrangement reaction so this is a general reaction um the conversion of our primary amine into alcohols so it is a special type of wagner movement rearrangement reaction so i am repeating the definition here the chemical conversion of primary amine with nitrous acid resulted into alcohol and ring expanded product or some cases ring contracted product is also possible i will explain you about where the ring contraction takes place and where the ring expansion will takes place in the both the cases the substitution of hydroxy group with possible ring expansion will take place so here our cyclobutyl methanamine here goes with nit uh, nitrous acid so the diesterization is favors here followed by uh, treatment with water which result into the cyclobutyl methanol and cyclopentanol as an ring expanded product that means this is four member ring and resulted product is a five member ring and nh2 is just replaced by oh so that we are getting mixture of product as a part of our damjono rearrangement reaction so this is the mechanism so mechanism is processed by a two cases one is path a and another one is a path b so in the case of our cyclobutyl methanamine here on uh, diesterization using our uh, nitrous acid so what will happen there will be formation of our carbocation will take place so once the positive charge over the nitrogen is coming over here like this which may it is a very good leaving group so diazo group is a very good leaving group so that the positive charge is migrated towards here in such cases the one of the sigma bonds migrates to the adjacent to the diazo group this is diazo group and this will migration of this will takes place to our formation of cyclo pentyl carbocation so our cyclo pentyl group here with our carbocation formation so we turn uh, further treatment with water which result into the formation of our ring expanded alcohol cyclopentanol so which is displacement uh, occurs via rearrangement so which is processed like a path a in the case of path b the diazo group displaces via sn2 mechanism so sn2 mechanism already we know so in the case the similar stage in this case if instead of going our uh, uh, migration of sigma bond to form a ring expansion during this stage the water moiety may attack here in the sn2 fashion in such a way that there is a formation or elimination of our nitrogen gas followed by our formation of our uh, oh group that's alcohol so in this case our nh2 is simply replaced by oh group so ring enlargement of amino methyl cyclohexane with nitrous acid corresponding homolog cyclo alkanol as a product this is the path a so i am repeating here in the case of our path a uh, steps uh, follows in the path a uh, diesterization here the elimination of our nitrogen gas so that the positive charge migrates towards here sigma bond migrates towards the carbon to form a ring enlargement and followed by attack of water which result into the formation of our ring expanded or ring enlarged uh, product as an alcohol whereas during the formation of our diazo group diazo group interaction and because diazo group is a very good leaving group 
during this stage before the uh, sigma bond migrates to get a ring enlargement in this stage if the water moiety is attacked here via sn2 mechanism so which will give you elimination of our nitrogen gas followed by get your product like our uh, just nh2 is replaced by oh2 so cyclo uh, both of them are alcohol only. okay so ring expanded alcohol and just displace the that nh2 is replaced by oh group so both the way we are getting a alcohol as a product so this is the explanation is uh, given what we have given you here in the previous slide reaction begins with disodization of amines by nitrous acid and disoning group is a good living group and displacement of uh, nitrogen gas to form a organic skeleton displacement occurs via rearrangement and one of the sigma bonds adjacent to diazo group migrates which result into the ring expansion and resulting carbocation is then attacked by a molecule of water which gives you a path a in the case of path b alternatively diazo group can displaced directly by a water molecule via sn2 fashion so both the cases both the routes the path a or path b result to the formation of alcohol as a product now so i am explaining about the where the ring contraction takes place so i am taking your cyclobutyl amine the point to be noted here in the previous case it is cyclobutyl methyl amine that's methanamine so here there will be a ch2 group is missing here if suppose ch2 group is there ring expansion will come so if suppose ch2 group is not there that will goes to the ring contraction so I have our uh, reaction here cyclobutyl amine here which on diazodization the direct displacement of nh2 by oh replacing this oh nh2 by oh group as a one of the products and if there is a absence of ch2 here there will be a ring contraction takes place if there is a ch2 linkage here that will lead to the ring expanded product this is the point to be noted so in this case of cyclobutyl amine on this demgeno rearrangement will result in the cyclopropyl methyl alcohol and cyclobutyl alcohol as a product here this is a direct uh, product that's a non rearranged product and this is a rearranged product so in the case also there will be in the previous slides explains about the mechanism the carbocation formation migration of sigma bond everything is takes place only the thing here in the absence of ch2 there will be a ring contraction takes place so in this slide the interesting point to be noted here the alpha cyclopropyl methyl amine and cyclobutyl amine we are taking two different reactants and producing the same kind of the demgeno rearrangement reaction nitrous acid is treated to give you a disodization reaction and follows our uh, uh, water attack addition of this water will result into the product cyclopropyl methyl alcohol and cyclobutyl alcohol so what i'm saying that in the previous slides i'm explaining about the uh, importance of our ch2 here that's a uh, methylene bridge if there is a presence of ch2 ring expansion will take place if the absence of ch2 here that ring contraction will take place so this is the one so the interesting point to be noted in this particular reaction the reactants are diverse but the products are same so which implies that which will be processed via yeah same intermediate here so the uh, cyclobutyl cation here this cyclobutyl cation formation is the important step in this case in the both the steps that's the uh, three member ring and four member ring uh, processed via our disodization reactions but there is here in this case ring expansion will take place in this case after this step there will be a ring contraction to get our product
so that uh, one normal alcohol one rearranged alcohol is obtained so this is normal alcohol in this case this is normal alcohol so in this case this is a rearranged alcohol and in this case this is normal alcohol this is rearranged alcohol for this stage so that uh, i am repeating here this cyclo uh, propyl methyl amine the product is this is a normal alcohol and this is the rearranged alcohol due to the presence of ch2 in this cyclobutyl amine for this case this is your normal alcohol and this is a rearranged alcohol here ring contraction takes place because of the absence of ch2 here so the carbonium ion generated alpha to the ring position by disodization the ring migration to ring expansion or ring contraction takes place so both the things the products are same reactants are uh, diffuse which implies that the reaction is processed via the same intermediate okay. so thanks for watching this video like it subscribe it and share it for more number of videos thank you